You guys, I am quite excited for this video. I have scoured the internet. I have done a lot of thinking and reflecting on what the best possible gifts could be this year. I've poured myself a cup of tea and we're gonna sit down and dive through the list that I've made for you guys and hopefully get the best gifts for your friends, family, loved ones this year. I've done my best to kind of break this into a few different categories. So I'm gonna break it down into for her, for him. Then I'm gonna have a few gift ideas for kids, for anybody out there that does have kids in their life, nieces, nephews, or your own kids. And finally, I wanted to do the last category for the pet lovers, the pet parents. I am obsessed with my pets, so I love like pet themed type of gifts as well. So let's dive into it. So first, obviously, we're gonna talk about for her because most of my followers are women. And you need to just send this video to your husband so that he knows what to get you, okay? But the first thing I wanna talk about on this list is actually jewelry from Ana Luisa and they are sponsoring today's video. I'm actually wearing both a set of earrings as well as this necklace. Hang on, let's get a little close up on the necklace. They also sent me this pair of earrings as well. Let me show you guys. And I think these are just so cute and unique. Such fun little like mini hoops that have little almost like diamonds in them. I can tell you from experience that their jewelry is just such high quality. I love pretty much everything about this brand. They are hypoallergenic. The jewelry is water resistant. It comes with a two year warranty. It is such high quality. I actually worked with them back in like August or September, I believe. And I wore the jewelry like every single day while we were in Mexico where it was super humid. I was like sweating every day and the jewelry did not tarnish at all. It stayed in perfect condition. I absolutely fell in love with the jewelry during that trip. They have tons and tons of cute designs on their website that it's honestly sometimes hard to choose what piece of jewelry you want. And right now they are having a Black Friday sale. I do believe that the sale is if you buy two items, you get 25% off. If you buy three items, you get 30% off. And if you buy four or more items, you get 35% off. So that's a pretty good deal because honestly, this jewelry, like I said, is very high quality. It is definitely worth it for the price. This is something that like, if I wasn't working with Annalisa, I would be like telling Chris that I really want him to buy me this for Christmas. There's a few other pieces on their website that I really, really want. So maybe when he watches this video, he'll know to buy me a couple more pieces. Another thing I love about Annalisa is that they create their jewelry with the planet in mind. So they have efforts in reducing greenhouse gases as they create their jewelry. And actually in 2020, the brand became carbon neutral, which means they counterbalance the entirety of their CO2 footprint for a net zero output. So every piece of jewelry that you buy is carbon invisible, which I actually think is really cool because as you guys know, I am super passionate about sustainability and buying products that are sustainably made. So overall, I just can't say enough good things about Ana Luisa. I really love their products. I'm so grateful that they wanted to partner with me today. So make sure you check them out. I do have a affiliate link down in my description box. Make sure you guys use that link when you head over to their website. And thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. All right, so now we're gonna kind of speed through the list here, you guys, because I have a lot of products to cover. So obviously first was the Ana Luisa of jewelry. Second idea on the list is those trendy Ugg slippers. I think they're so cute. This is on my Christmas list this year. I think they're so freaking cute. The little platform with like the Sherpa on the outside. Mm, so cute. They are selling out really fast. So if you can find any, make sure you snag a pair of those. Next is a silk eye mask and pillowcase. I personally use an eye mask to sleep every single night. I swear by it. I love it. It is not silk. And I actually really want to switch to like well, silk eye mask and pillowcase because it is supposed to be so good for your like hair, your skin. And let's be honest, I I am 30 years old now. I don't want to be damaging my hair or skin any more than I already have. So investing in high quality sleep mask and pillowcase is worth it to me. Also, an eye mask just helps me get such better sleep at night and that is just invaluable. Next is a leather bound journal. You know, as we're working on glowing up in 2024, being the best versions of ourselves, sometimes that means journaling. Make sure you're getting your wifey or your mom or your sister a nice journal so she can write down her goals for 2024 and just be the best version of herself next Next year. Next is a Framio. You guys, I got one of these for my birthday this year and it has been like one of my favorite things that I've had over these last few months. And basically if you're unfamiliar with Framio, like anybody that has your code can send you photos directly to your Framio. It's actually a really cool way, especially since I don't live near my family. Sometimes they'll like be out at the pumpkin patch or whatever and then they'll send me photo from the pumpkin patch experience like to the Framio. So it feels like I am there with them and I have absolutely loved having the Framio. Next couple of ideas are for my reading girlies out there. So a Kindle. I personally love having 
a physical book, but I have several friends that like swear by their Kindle. I think it's such a great idea for like traveling. If you want to like travel light and you don't want to carry multiple books or something like that, then yeah, a Kindle I think makes perfect sense. Another thing that I got recently that I am absolutely in love with is a book stamper. If you're not familiar, basically like if you lend out your book, people, you can actually get one of these stampers. It stamps the page in the book and that way it says like from the library of Jessica or whatever. And it's super cute. It's just like, it's a fun little like book talk girly thing to have and I love mine. The next thing that I kind of want is a book page holder. So this is something that you can either just put right in the book or on your thumb and it's really nice if you're like laying down or something because it will make it a lot easier to hold the book open. This I have seen online and I feel like this is a really cool idea for somebody that likes to read a lot and likes to read physical books. Next idea is a skincare set. There's tons of great skincare products out there. I happen to know that Ulta is having a huge Black Friday sale. I think it's like up to 50% off site wide. So that's a great place to go find some skincare products. Speaking of skincare, I am personally a huge fan of those like under eye gel with patches. I love them for days when I'm feeling extra poofy. They're inexpensive and they're just like a really nice pamper thing to have. Next idea is perfume. I don't know about you, but I'm like the type of person where I don't want to like spend a ton of money on perfume, but I also want to smell good and I want perfume. So this is something that I love to receive as a gift. Next idea is pretty much anything from Lululemon. Most of us women love Lululemon. Those are like my favorite sweatshirts, my favorite leggings. So anything from Lululemon. I also think it would be a really nice gift to give like framed photos. This is something I've done like when I got married, I had photos of me and my dad or me and my mom and it was really nice to like have those photos printed and framed and given as a gift because a lot of times people don't go out of their way these days to like go print photos. It could be really nice to take the time, go get it printed, put it in a nice frame and give that as a gift. Next idea is a mug warmer. I love my mug warmer, especially when I was like working from home for a different company because I would like drink my coffee and then get distracted by emails and then it would be cold and it just keeps your coffee warm so you don't have to like keep microwaving it every 30 minutes if you don't finish your coffee right away. I love having a mug warmer. I think it's like the best idea ever. Next idea is a weekend getaway. I think that this is a great one for the moms out there, especially with little kids. If you can get a nanny or a sitter for the weekend, try and give her a weekend away from the kids for just the two of you so you guys can have kind of a romantic weekend together. That is going to be a great gift that she's absolutely gonna love. Similarly, you could get her a house cleaning service. This is one thing that I would absolutely love to have as a gift. I love having a clean house and I do not like cleaning very much. Get her a house cleaning service so she doesn't have to do it maybe once this holiday season or after the holidays or whatever. Next idea is a cozy robe. I have a cozy robe and I absolutely love it, especially like during the cold winter months. Highly recommend that. Also, we love cute winter coats, especially if you live somewhere that it is very cold. You need a lot of coats. When I was living in Seattle, it was about like having practical coats but sometimes it's really nice to receive as a gift like a really cute one a fashionable one but I have a coat that's actually from REI and I always get compliments on it it's functional and it's cute all right next idea is a spa day or a massage or something like that a gift card to a spa near you a gift card to a massage place near you again we just we just need to relax we need a little pampering and spa days massages are clutch. And the final idea I have for her is actually a wine box subscription, but I thought this was such a cool idea because you get these every single month. And if you have, you know, a wife or whatever who loves wine, and maybe she's the only one in the family that like drink wine and she doesn't drink a ton of wine, but she likes to try different wines. For me, I'm like, I don't want to like open a bottle of wine and then have one glass and then have the bottle of wine go bad. So then I just like won't open the bottle of wine. So this is actually a cool idea, I think, because they're basically like individual glasses of wine, basically. I thought this was a really cool idea and definitely something for the wine lovers out there. All right, next we have gifts for him. So I'm going to speak from, you know, what my husband has told me, things that he wants and inspiration from him. So I apologize if your husband or dad or brother is not the same as my husband. <laughs> but the first thing on this list is also anything from Lululemon. He freaking loves Lululemon. Just get them a pair of like sweatpants or one of their basic t-shirts and I promise they will become a Lululemon convert. Number two similarly is Ugg slippers. He absolutely loves his Ugg slippers. He wears them literally every day. He wears them to the bone. So, so I highly recommend that for any of the men in your life as well. Next is a whiskey decanter and you can get just like a generic one. You can also get customized ones from Etsy. It feels fancy 
guilty when you have your whiskey sitting in a nice decanter and like kind of have matching glasses and it's kind of bougie and it's nice to have while we're on the topic of alcohol another idea is a home cocktail set we do have one of these as well that has shaker the shop glass thingies like a muddler and a, a bunch of other stuff in there and it's really fun on days where we're feeling like extra fancy and want to make like a special cocktail that's been really fun to have next idea is a grooming kit and i can guarantee there are tons of deals on grooming men's grooming kits out there right now so this could be a really fun idea if you know, your husband or your dad likes being well groomed but doesn't have every single you know piece to like a cohesive set next idea is a smart watch chris got an apple watch i got him an apple watch for christmas last year he swears by his apple watch now so if your husband or dad or whoever is an active person or is trying to be more active in 2024 i think a smart watch is a really cool way to go next idea is a vr gaming headset so personally i don't really understand the hype on this but i know chris has wanted one for a while this is just a fun gift idea and if i know anything about men it's that they like their toys so this could be a really fun one to give them something to kind of play around with for christmas this year next is noise canceling headphones if he works out likes to listen to music or i don't know plays video games or something that's really loud if he's working or something and you have kids and they're being loud he works from home like this could be a great way to drown out some of that background noise and help him be more productive at work too next idea i happen to know is on chris's christmas list which is a chef's knife set he absolutely loves cooking this could be a really good idea if your partner husband whatever really likes to cook and you don't have good knives like it can make all of the difference in the world so consider getting a really nice chef's knife set and make sure it make sure it is really good in quality if you're going to invest in something like that next idea i thought this was really random and cool and i kind of want it because chris and i like go camping a lot and this is a portable espresso maker so we obviously have you know ways to <laughs> ways to make our coffee when we go camping but i saw this on amazon and i I was like this is actually so cool you just kind of like press the button on the top and it pops out a shot of espresso like this is pretty cool next idea is an outdoor pizza oven so we have the uni and i absolutely love it i think it makes really really good pizza of course this is definitely for people that are willing to like take the time to like make their own pizza and all of that but the pizza turns out so good i freaking love our uni it does take a little bit of effort to actually like sit down and make the pizzas but when you do it's delicious and so worth it next idea is a massage gun we have a massage gun. We absolutely love our massage gun. If you don't have one, I highly recommend it, especially if the man in your life is very active because it really helps relieve sore muscles. It really helps if like you're recovering from an injury. It is just like seriously one of the best things that I have and I absolutely love it. Next idea is sports memorabilia, signed sports memorabilia, anything like along those lines. Men typically love like jerseys of their sports teams and it gives them something, you know, to wear on game day. So if they don't have jerseys or if they don't have very many for their sports team this could be a fun gift idea for them and on that topic tickets to a game for their favorite sports team is also a really fun idea even if the sports team is far away like our biggest sports team are the golden state warriors based in san francisco and it could be a really fun gift idea to not only give him tickets to the game but also be like i've also booked us airfare for this weekend and we're gonna do a little weekend getaway and go watch you know the warriors play basketball like that would be so much fun and the final thing on this list similarly to the last one is to just book him some sort of weekend getaway I said this for the gifts for her as well. I think we all sometimes just need like a girl's weekend, sometimes a romantic weekend with your partner or whatever. Sometimes it's just time away from the kids. You know, maybe you coordinate with some of the other wives in your friend group and you guys all book them an Airbnb two hours away or something for some random weekend in January. Like that could be a really fun gift idea as well. So the next category is kids. All right, so if you've got a niece or a nephew or your own kids and you're trying to come up with some fun gift ideas, hopefully these ones help you out. Obviously, I don't have kids, so I'm really just going off of things that I'm seeing from like an aunt's perspective of things that would be fun to give my niece kind of like rough idea list and keep in mind that this is coming from the perspective of an aunt all right idea number one is a personalized children's book Obviously, if your kid's a little bit older, this might not go over as great, but I thought this was so cute that you can make them like a little personalized book, a little storybook that includes them in it. Like how fun and cute is that? So this is a really fun one, really unique, and something that I think is actually really cool. Next idea is a remote control car. I thought this was so fun. I used to think these were really fun to play with myself when I was a little kid. So this could be a really fun idea if your kid is old enough to kind of understand how to work a remote control car. Next, my sister would probably kill me if I 
I got her child this is a musical instrument, like a portable piano. I think this could actually be really fun, fun way for them to learn like how to play music. But also keep in mind that if you're buying this for a niece or a nephew, that loud musical instruments might be really annoying for the parent. I thought this was a fun idea, but again, I don't know if my sister would be the happiest if I got her daughter a little mini piano. <laughs> Next idea is like a cooking or baking set and I have to say you guys I was an absolute easy bake oven Obsessed girl when I was growing up. I freaking loved my easy bake oven And I love that they basically have like new and improved versions of the easy bake oven now So I mean you could get them an actual easy bake oven or just any sort of like cooking baking kit Next idea that I think is really cool is a mess free coloring kit We definitely did not have these when I was a little kid I'll have to ask my mom how messy of a color I was when I was growing up But I think it's so cool that you can now buy these coloring kits that like the markers only work on these special pages so that way when they're coloring they don't get marker all over tables and walls and things like that next idea is a science kit and i have to tell you guys i was a little bit of a nerd when i was growing up and i loved these fun little random like science experiment stuff and it's super cool that you can buy just like a little science kit have your kid experiment with fun things like that in a controlled way next idea are kids walkie talkies this one i think is so much fun i think my sister and i had walkie talkies when we were little and it was so much fun to like walk talkie with her if she was like out of the neighbor's house playing with you know our friends over there or something like that obviously this was what well before cell phones and stuff but who doesn't love walkie talkies i think they're so much fun next idea is a customized acrylic nightlight this might be a little bit more for like us as the parent or aunt or uncle i saw these on etsy and i thought they were so cute like if your kid is really into dinosaurs they have dinosaur ones or butterflies they have butterfly ones this could just be a really cute way to spruce up their bedroom and make it really like cutesy for them all right Here's another gift idea that did not exist for me when I was a child, but it is a 3D doodler. This is actually really cool. It basically like, you can just like draw and then it like makes it 3D. <laughs> but I thought this was a fun, cool idea for kids that like drawing and want things to kind of come to life as they're drawing it. And the last idea I have for kids, this is definitely an anti one, is I love buying my niece cute clothes and things that I would personally dress her in. So I typically like to buy things like that for my niece. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that was my strongest category, you guys, but like I said, I'm not a parent and I don't know the best things to buy for a child, but maybe that at least sparked some ideas for you anyway. So the final category I wanted to provide for you guys is the pet parent category. That is the category I am in. I love all things pets and I love pet related gifts because I love my pets. So here are some gift ideas if you have a pet lover in your life. First one is a customized pet portrait. We actually have one of Doodle. I actually love it. I think it's so cute and it's just like a fun little thing to have. I would love to have like an updated one of both of our dogs now, but I just love having those pet portraits. I think they're so cute and fun and absolutely love them. There are literally so many customized pet things that you can get on Etsy. Another thing that I have that I love, I got Chris a customized mug of our old dog a while ago and he absolutely loves that mug. So get a mug with your person's favorite pet on it and I promise they will love that one. Another great gift idea is like a BarkBox subscription. You can pay for like a six month subscription on BarkBox. I freaking love getting BarkBox. We canceled our subscription when I got lit off because it was kind of like one of those unnecessary expenses that we didn't need to have but it was so much fun to get that every month and doodle loved getting treats and toys and stuff like that from it so i think that's such a fun gift idea if a pet parent in your life doesn't already have bark box i highly recommend their service another fun gift idea is cute like pet bandanas one of my friends lexi she always has like the cutest bandanas for her dog i always think they're so much fun next really good gift idea is a pet camera especially one of the ones that comes with a treat dispenser we used to have a furbo and to be honest I don't know what happened to our Furbo. I used to love that thing. I think it just maybe got lost in the move or maybe we donated it because at the time we didn't think we would need it. In hindsight, now that we have a puppy, I wish we still had that Furbo. But yeah, a pet camera thing like that is really smart to have. It's really nice for pet parents that have to leave for work or things like that and want to see their pet throughout the day. Next idea is an engraved pet tag. So this is actually something I want to get for both of our dogs. Doodle just has like one of the ones from like PetSmart that was like $3. It's not very nice. I would love to have a really nice tag for her and same for Loki. So that's a really fun idea for your pet as well. If the person in your life is a newer pet parent, a good idea for them is car seat cover for the dogs. We have one of those for our car and it is a lifesaver because even though Doodle goes to the groomer like once a month and she's pretty clean, they still have dirt on their paws. They still jump in and out of 
things and especially if we go like hiking or things like that it has kept our car so much cleaner it makes riding in the car so much easier for dogs and i can't recommend that enough another good gift idea is a really high quality dog bed okay doodle has literally we have like six dog beds in our house so we personally don't need any new dog beds but i think it's always really nice to receive like a really nice dog bed because they can be really expensive and we a lot of times just buy our, our dog beds from costco but if somebody got us like a really really nice like orthopedic dog bed especially as doodles getting older and she needs a little bit extra cushion like that would be a really nice gift idea i think all right next idea is a customized pet calendar i think this is kind of fun i've never actually done this but you can just like make a customized calendar on shutterfly and some other websites out there and i mean like how cute would that to just be you know having different photos of your dog or cat every single month on your customized calendar i mean i think that would be really cute the next gift idea for the pets are a pet puzzle we actually had to get these for doodle when she was going through her knee surgery at the beginning of this year because they can't like go for runs or even really walks and they still have some energy so it's a really good way to kind of like stimulate them mentally and get them tired that way without having to like take them for long walks and runs when they can't when they're recovering from surgery or if you just have like a really high energy dog that needs some mental stimulation and needs to work on some problem solving skills like this is a really good gift idea so i highly recommend this we've used tons of different dog puzzles and i really really like them all right you guys i think that was like 50 55 gift ideas so i hope that you enjoyed that i hope that there was some inspiration in this video for you and i hope that you found it useful as you're diving into black friday gift shopping and finding some great deals out there please do let me know in the comments if you find any like screaming deals that you need to tell somebody about because i am going to be doing as much black friday shopping as i can as a reminder don't forget to check out anna luisa and make sure you use that link down in my description box as it is my affiliate link and so i would greatly appreciate it if you guys do choose to shop through that link love all of their products as i've mentioned a thousand times so i definitely definitely recommend checking them out but that is everything i wanted to leave you with today i'm so excited that it's finally day after thanksgiving holiday season and time for all of the christmas vibes you guys so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up button but i will catch up with you next time Thank you.